Welcome to Celebrity Home Shopping. I'm your host, Samir. On today's episode, we're taking a look at Leonardo DiCaprio's new Los Feliz home, which he bought from Jesse Tyler Ferguson. Let's take a look inside. Here's what we love about this house. We love the curb appeal. In Southern California, Mediterranean is the best you can get. We love the Spanish tile roof. We love all this green around the windows. We love this cute little front balcony, as well as this front seating area, especially the terracotta tiles on the ground and this fireplace. A perfect home has lump options before you even get inside. Love the whole vibe of the entrance, including these steps, as well as this front door. We need a Shazam for wood to tell us what kind of materials this is made out of. Inside, we love the entry foyer. I feel like I'm in a boutique hotel in here. We love this mega vaulted ceiling in the living room. We love this Juliet balcony. We love all the colors in this study, as well as these stained glass windows, and that it also has a Juliet balcony. In the kitchen, we love the appliances, especially the Wolf Range. I wouldn't expect the Wolf of Wall Street to use any other brand. We love this mini sauce fridge in the bar area, as well as this ice maker, and that it has its own dishwasher too. We love how cozy this eating nook is. Love this covered ceiling in the dining room. Love the general vibe of the main bathroom, including the tile, the vanity, and the way the ceiling is. We love that there's a coffee maker in the main bedroom closet. Some mornings you need a pre-coffee before your coffee. Having this will solve that need. Outside, we love the courtyard. A courtyard is a perfect place to lump and eat. Or eat and lump. We love that the pool kind of feels like the Versace Mansion pool. We love these trees. You only see them in California. We love that there's a bathroom right by the pool. We love this room, whatever it is. This place feels like it was built for maximum lumping. We love this other chill spot as well. And finally, we love that there's a Peloton in the gym. It's a dream come true. Here's what we hate about this house. We aren't sure how you get in. I don't really know how to get to the front door. Do you need a machete to cut through all this brush to get in here? We hate this random palm tree sticking out of these bushes. We hate that all the windows look like they were just added randomly. We hate that there's a hill behind the home. Looking at a hill is amongst the worst possible views you could ever have. I'd rather look at a hell tree than a hill. We hate how much yard maintenance this place must have. We hate this gutter. We hate the whole vibe of the powder room. I'm honestly a little bit scared in here. We hate the black toilet. If you invite me over and you've got a black toilet, I'm just going to hold it in. We hate all this clutter on the wall. Poop residue, USA. In the kitchen, we hate the island. You could barely fit one rose on here. We hate when knives are out like this. Nobody needs this much access to this many knives. We hate that the kitchen eating area is surrounded by subway tile. Subway tile belongs in the bathroom or in the subway. We hate the wallpaper in the dining room. Is this denim? Wait, this cabinet in the living room? What's behind it? No one knows. We hate how scary these faces are in the ceiling. We hate that this chandelier is in a birdcage. You could be a light or a birdcage, but you can't be both. Despite all my rage, I am still just a light in a cage. We hate that there are no lights in the ceiling in this bedroom, or this bedroom, or even this bedroom. We hate that these doors lead to another door. The same thing in here. This seems like a lot of work. We hate this kind of faucet. Outside in the courtyard, we hate how close this fire is to the ivy. And we hate these string lights. Are we at a mansion or a college bar? Even though we like this tile wall, how do you clean it? Do you have to suction yourself onto it and clean it with a mop? While I'm like this, I might as well hedge these bushes too. We hate that they stuff the pool in the backyard, leaving not much room for anything else. This is a total stuff job. And finally, we hate these chairs by the driveway. This home ranked 4 out of 5 on the homies home ranking scale. Welcome to the stats after show where we take a deeper look into the stats. Seems like he bought this home for his mom, which was a pretty nice gift. Good job, Leo. It's had a few celeb owners, including Gwen Stefani and most recently Jesse Tyler Ferguson. The founder of Lara Bars also owned this place at some time. Gave it a high 4 ranking because it was a pretty cozy home, had lots of nice rooms. But I don't love the land and location, so that's why it didn't go any higher. He paid over asking price, which means he probably really liked this home. Finally, it seems like his father also has a place in Los Feliz. See you all next episode. Oh hey, you're still here? Picture this. You're out here having a nice lump meal of tacos and a beer. 
where you eat way too much and pass out while this fire is still blazing. Two minutes later, the whole wall catches fire. It spreads quickly until the whole property is on fire. You're passed out dreaming about the tacos and beer you had while the whole mountainside erupts in flames. Your son Leo's at a climate change conference halfway around the world with Greta Thunberg and he can't help. Two minutes later, you die from major smoke inhalation. No thanks.